Good morning everyone, it's Mish here and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. And if you are returning, welcome back. I, I appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing another day in the Junk Journal July 2024. We are getting towards the end of the month. Today is the 21st and I am doing the challenge that the prompts are set by Mag Journals for, for July 21st. The prompt is colors, and I am doing an affirmation each day. And my prompt or my affirmation today is harmony. We've already done well all all the pages, all the days uh, so far. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out in my playlist. So for today, my affirmation is everything around me is in perfect harmony. Sometimes I need to remember that when everything is starts to get chaotic. And I don't really say the phrase, fake it till you make it, but sometimes you really do. You just need to just know in your mind that it's not going to be like this every day and just take a deep breath and just say everything around me is in perfect harmony. And sometimes that's even my, your inner struggle because sometimes that's, that's the worst is trying to quiet that inner struggle inside you when you feel like everything is you're just going to break because everything is just so tragic or chaotic but but for the color theme I was I thought about doing something in watercolor but then I couldn't think of kind of at the last minute sort of an idea for for the watercolor so I might bring in my watercolors later as I did want to do a little bit more mixed media in this and um, but so for today I just want to put down a more colorful background and then I'm just going to create a little uh, file folder uh, pocket I guess you'd call it um, for <clears throat> just putting our memories in and storing, I don't know, the way I use um, what I'm going to show you before is I went, once when I went on a trip and then I just had a kind of a tab for each day of my trip and then I just wrote sort of a little itinerary of what, what, we, what I did and, and I might have referenced a picture or pictures that I had taken and maybe my thoughts or even just some history on on where where I was your summer holiday you know you could use it in many ways um, so I just thought that it would be a cute thing to put in my journal so I'm just gonna get these colors down and and yeah and then we'll get on with the actual project so I'm not being too fussy because the, the middle part is going to be filled in anyway so I just basically want to get the top and the sides as far as color goes. I think I'll put that right across the top because it's pretty. I like pretty things. Okay, so that's kind of flush there. I just want to cut that off and then we'll get started. So you're going to need, or for, for this pro project, what I used is I used a piece of paper that was four and a quarter by 11. So you can use a 12 by 12 or um, you just, just your standard size paper, A4 or letter size. Okay, so we'll put that aside. And so I, so I cut that, that strip and that gave me this. Okay, so this is a, f a four and a quarter by 11. And then on the 11 inch side, I scored at four, I scored at four, four and a quarter, nine and nine and a quarter. And then I'm just going to just crease my score lines. That's gonna be the bottom of your pocket there. And then the top, 
we're going to score that. That's going to be the, the top flap. Okay. And then I also had, uh, because I used a 12 by 12, I had this, but I think it's a bit too wide. I had this little flap here that I'm going to cut down to three quarters on there. And then I'm just going to take my corner rounder and I'm just going to round the corners. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this on roughly in the center. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And you could find the center, but I'm going to put it roughly in the center there. Okay, and then that's just going to be my closure. I'm just going to let that dry. It is so humid here today. It's uh, only 6.45 in the morning, and already it's hot. So it might be an air conditioner day. Okay, and then I just took some strips of paper. So these measure, oops, these measure four and a quarter, or four, let's measure four. Um, and they measure four by, looks like four and three quarters, or one and three quarters. And then what, what I did is every quarter inch I made a score. But if you don't have a scoreboard, it's basically just folding it back and forth, back and forth until you get um, an accordion. Okay, so it's back and forth, back and forth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to my to my pocket. And I want the printed side outside. I'm not sure if there's an up or down. So if, if your paper's directional, you want to make sure you got it in the right direction. Okay, and then I'm just going to get some glue on the outer edge on each end. Okay, and then we're just going to put it right in our crease there. I want it this way. I want the print side out. So I'm just going to line it up with that outer edge like so. Like that. Push that a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to put squish my top right on the edge. Squish that down on top of it. Okay, I'm going to give that a good press down. And then I'm going to do that with the other side. Okay, and then, so it's going to go like that. Put a little bit of glue there. Turn it over. Okay, it is directional, so I've got it facing in the right direction. And I've got the printed side out. And it's this one here that gets a little bit trickier, but so I just squish that right down to the bottom, make sure it's flush on the edges. Okay, and then just squeeze it shut. And then I hold it down for a few minutes. Okay, so this here should be three quarters. So my little flap for the closure was four and a quarter by three quarters. Okay, and then I just rounded the one end of it. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to set that aside. So I've already made some cards that I'm going to put in, inside there. And I've made some tabs. So I do have a tab punch. If you don't have a, a tab punch, you can just cut some out, basic shapes. Uh, just go to the folded edge of a uh, paper and just make a little shape like that. And then you'll have those. So I'm just going to make sure they're all going in the right direction. All right, so roughly like that, like that. I don't think that matters in that. Okay, and then I'm just going to allot some of these tabs. So I think I'll put that on there. It doesn't really matter. And that there. And that there. Okay, and then I'm just going to stagger my tabs across the top. So I'm just going to go for this one here. I'll go right to the edge, like 
like so. Pull that up a bit. And before that settles down, I just want to make sure that they're going to fit in. Yeah. Okay, so then these cards that I made will fit right inside. They are four, it looks like four and pretty much a quarter. Four and a quarter by four and a quarter. No, sorry, this is three and five eighths wide, three and five eighths by four and a quarter. Okay, so then that's going to be my first card, and then I usually figure out what's going to be my last card. So I think this will be my last card, and then I always put the last tab on, and then I just stagger the other two between them. Okay, so there's your tab there. That's going to be my first and last. So it doesn't really matter because it's pretty full. So I'm going to say this will be my next one. And I kind of want it right around there. Okay. So then that's going to be that tab and that tab. And then we've got another tab. So I'm not sure if the blue, although this is color, I'm going to use this one instead. And I pick some colorful paper is I guess where this is going is that instead of doing sort of the more muted tones, browns and stuff, I've chose some really colorful background and papers to get the color in, in my journal. Now in my normal journal, I do use quite a bit of color. Sometimes I challenge myself not to use sort of pinks and greens because that's what I tend to gravitate gravitate to the pastels okay so there's our cards and they should stagger a bit there you go so there's they're a bit staggered there so then that can go in our pocket and there's still room in the pocket because we've made it accordion there's still room to put more things all right and then for the closure I'm just going to fold that so that it's folding down. And then I'm just going to make a line kind of with my pencil that I can erase. I'm going to make a line roughly here on each side. And then I'm just going to take something here, my ink pad, to stick inside there. And I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to make a little slit across there. I'm just putting my ink pad there because I don't really think I will cut through my ink pad. If you had a, a little piece of wood or something on your desk, then just you can put that there. And then with this flap, I'm just going to take a bone folder and just open it up a little bit. Okay, and then that flap should just flap down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should just close up, and then we can put that on our page. Now it is a bit dimensional, so you might need to flatten it or um, just push down that that score a little bit on the top and bottom. Okay, so. Before I put that down though, I think I'll put on my affirmation. For today, I'm not going to distress because I just want it to be on here. So everything around me is in perfect. Okay, we cut out there, but so everything around me is in perfect harmony. And then I was just saying that this is a great, it's a, it is a bit dimensional, but um, it's fine. Our pages can, will adjust. And it's just a great way if you're on a, a trip or just some sort of something's going on that you want to record, then you'll have day, sort of day one, day two, day, day three, day four, you'll have a place to journal. And you could always 
use uh, paper that's not so patterned because you can't really write on that side, but you could put a little photo or, or glue something on there that is significant. You can also take a writing pad and just cut out a little panel and then I would round the corners and then you can have them glue it on so that you'd, you'd have a writing space. So, so yeah, so that's our little project for today. Quick and easy. I am gonna get this down with a little bit of score tape and I think I'm gonna leave the top open as well so that if I want to have another little tag or something, journal card, I can put the journal card kind of in behind it. Um, I wouldn't want to put too much because it's already quite dimensional. Um, and I do use score tape just because I find it's the best tape for really holding things on your page. Um, I don't worry so much if it's you know something that's not going to have the wear and tear that that this pocket probably will have. So so yeah so I can't think of anything else to put on here for today. You could further embellish it. You could put flowers in. You could have cut out some of the patterned uh, paper and put behind there which would actually look kind of cute um and i think i might do that i think i might go away and come back i'll be right okay back. so i did i went away and i found i went to that some of that paper that i used and i cut out uh, some of the flowers and i just put them kind of around where that pocket is going to be and so now i just need to pull this a bit closer and get the pocket down and I'm leaving a little bit more at the top room at the top in case I want to put something in back there then I can slide that something in there okay and then that's your project uh, for today so we're flipping through and we've got this little pocket that we can store all kinds of memories or memorabilia souvenirs and just remember today that everything is in perfect harmony. So until tomorrow, I hope you stay safe and well, and bye for now.